What's up guys, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, so in this video I'm going to show you all exactly what you need to do to pass this test. This, this test can be frustrating, uh, it can be overwhelming, there's so much material out there that, that you can study, um, but I'm going to help you narrow things down and take it step by step. That way you can you know, not be overwhelmed and, and get this test passed the first time. Uh, so for starters, make sure you got the right code book. So on this last test that I took, um, I actually, you know, spent a lot of time tabbing and, and studying out of my 2017 book. I showed up to the testing agency to take my test and they told me that I could not use this book. That they were still on the, two, the 2014 book. Now, I did not know that. Um, I should have checked because uh, when, I, when I signed up for the test, they give you, they, they mail you out a, you know, a printout of, of everything that you need to know for your test. And I didn't, I didn't read through it. Um, if I would have read through it, I would have seen that it, it says 2014. And I would have known that I had the wrong book. So pay attention, make sure you're bringing the right book because that's, that's pretty aggravating whenever you show up and you put all this time in and they they turn you away because you got the wrong year book so first thing get the right book second thing what you want to do is get this book tabbed so order these tabs get it tabbed okay um, another thing you want to do is you want to make some of your own tabs like these up here so go buy some, go buy some of these permanent, go buy some of these permanent tabs here. Now what I did is, you know, to make them look professional and not ghetto and homemade, go to Walmart and get you a little label maker. Put your tab on here and whatever you're tabbing. So the ones that, that I tabbed personally is uh, lighting loads, my gyre demand, my opacity tables, voltage drop, pipe fill, those are the ones that, that I tabbed up here, okay? Um, <clears throat> so go ahead and, and get those done, make them look store-bought, okay? That way they don't give you any issues. And so what you want to do once you get your book tabbed, uh, what, I, what I did, what I did is I, I got some index cards, okay? and each one of these tabs, you know, start at the first one, Article 100, Definitions, and just go through and write down on index cards what each tab is. 230, Services, 240, Overcurrent Protection, so on. All of the tabs make you a stack of flashcards. Study those flashcards, first thing, before anything else. Memorize the flashcards. Uh, what that's going to do, it's, it's just going to help you, you know, there's no way to remember everything in this book it's ridiculous but by memorizing these tabs it's going to just speed you up it's a time test it's going to speed you up make things faster uh, you know you, you get a question you find the keyword in the question for example uh, right here let's just open the book up type MC cable shall not be used where exposed to blank conditions Keyword in that question, MC cable. So, by, by knowing, by having these tabs memorized, you know that MC cable is, you know, 330. So, instead of, you know, opening your book all the way back here in the 600s by elevators and swimming pools and stuff like that, well, you know, you remember that 330 is MC cable. So, you're saving a lot of time by, by going into this first quarter of the book. You see MC cable, boom, you're there, and now you can now you can look up your answer. 
it just speeds things up. It takes the guessing work out on where at in the book it is. It kind of gives you a map, a map in your head of where things are at in the book. Memorize those tabs. Um, all right, so now that you got your tabs memorized, um, that's the first thing you want to do is you want to get those tabs memorized. Once you get to that point, so whenever you're getting, you know, the right year code book, once you when you're getting that, go ahead and get these two books too. The Tom Henry Calculation Exam Questions and Answers and the Tom Henry Journeyman Electrician Exam Questions and Answers. Uh, these two books are awesome. These are 2008. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's different year editions out. I don't think it matters what year you get, just get one of each of these books. These books are awesome. I actually, uh, when I took my test, I seen a few questions on my test that I remembered from studying out of this book. So, I mean, these are really good questions. So, step two, what you wanna do, after you got those tabs memorized, that's good, it's gonna speed you up. Then what you wanna do is you wanna get in your calculations. You wanna you want spend a month on this book right here. I spent a month doing nothing but studying this book. Just start on the first lesson and just go through the whole book. You know, every night, do a lesson. So, chapter one is branch circuits. Just go through the lessons here, read it, study it, and at the end it's got, it's got a little practice test and at the end it's got a final test. And you can grade yourself, uh, study that chapter until you can pass that test with no problems and then move to the next chapter. Um, chapter two is impacity. So, now this book, the, the reason I like it is, man, it's really, it's really detailed and it, you know, it really explains how to work out the problems. And so, it's, it's kind of like having a teacher right there in front of you. It's, it's really well laid out. So I strongly recommend getting this book. And if you can go, if, once you get to the end of this book and you do it like I'm telling you to do it, you're not going to have no problems with your calculations. If there's something in this book that's confusing and it's not explaining it very well, get on YouTube. YouTube, the calculus, YouTube, uh, range demand. You know, range demand I always had a lot of problems with. Especially when you get down into those notes. Uh, use YouTube. I did it on a few different things. Um, there's a lot of guys out there that's got good channels that, you know, will get on a whiteboard and work it out in front of you and, and help you. So, once you're done with that calculations book, you've spent a month on it or whatever, however long it takes you. Some people take longer than others, but go through that book and get that done. And then you want to start on this book. Um, there's several tests in this book. What I did is I picked out five tests to start with, okay? And, you know, so the way these books are laid out, we'll just go right here. So, open book exam number six. It's 50 questions, gives you a time limit of two hours. Once you're done, you can, you can write down, you know, how much time you spent. You can write down your score. It's got an answer key back here in the back for all the tests. You can grade yourself. Um, it tells you the code articles and everything for the answer, where it's at in the code book. So, pick out five tests and do that test over and over again until you can make an A on that test within 30 minutes. And then, once, you, once you're able to do that on all five of them, then you want to take your answer key. Sorry. Use the answer key and then go in your code book and highlight all those answers that, you know, that those five tests, go ahead and highlight them in your code book. Now, all of those questions aren't, I'm not saying they're all going to be on your test, but some of them will be. I had, I had several questions that I remembered from that book on my test. And uh, the reason that I knew that it was a question out of that book whenever I was taking my test is because when I found it, it was highlighted, just like this. You know, I would highlight it and then I'd put 
you know, I'd put little lines beside it. And that's how I knew that that was a question that I got out of that practice book there. And so, uh, you know, you will have some of those questions on your test. Go ahead and highlight them. You got all the answers right here. Highlight them in that book. It'll make it that much easier to stand out whenever you're trying to look it up. Um, once you get, once you do that with those five tests, pick out five more. I spent two months on this book. Three months is what you need. A month on your calculations, two months on this. Uh, and then I think it took me three or four days to memorize those tabs. So, three months and three or four days, I was ready to rock and roll. Uh, anyways, that's also another thing, your ugliest book. Don't forget your ugliest book. Now, I didn't use it for a lot, but I, there's two things that, I, that this book is good for. One is the Ohm's Law wheel here. That is uh, a lot to memorize. So having that to be able to look at, there's a lot of questions on your test where you're going to need this wheel. So, and then also your voltage drop, I put little tabs right here, voltage drop and pipe fill. I think I only use my voltage drop, but it's got your, uh, it's got your voltage drop formulas and, and everything you need for voltage drop. So that, that's really helpful to be able to look at that. So get you an Uglies book, go to your supply house, get you an Uglies book, 12, 15 bucks, not much. Um, make your own tabs and use a label maker. Make it look store-bought. Make it look clean and professional. Okay, so that way, whenever you get to the testing center, they don't see some handwritten jankety tabs and they don't give you no problems. So... Anyways, uh, that's how I did it. I made an A, and they gave me they gave you four hours on that test. I was done in hour and a half, hour and a half, I think. Um, the lady in the testing center, she was like really surprised and was kind of acting weird, like I cheated or something because I made an A in such a short amount of time. Um, but that's just that's what happens when you study for it. So. Step one, get the right code book, get these two books. Step two, order your tabs, get, get your book tabbed, okay? And while you're tabbing, go ahead and make you your own tabs up here. Lighting loads, gyre demand, conductor capacity tables, and then your voltage drop and pipe fill back here in the back. Go ahead and tab those. And then another thing you can do is you can tab your index. I went ahead and tab, it's kind of hard to hold up. I went ahead and tab the index too. You know, like D through F, G through I, J through I. Just go through and tab the whole index. Speeds it up. It's all about time, it's all about efficiency. Just being able to get through that code book fast. All your answers are in that book. You just got to be able to get through it. 